Sergio Ramos has retired from international football after hearing from new Spain coach Luis de la Fuente that he will not be counting on him. He said, this morning I received a call from the current head coach who informed me that I am not and will not be part <laughs> of his plans, regardless of how I perform or what I do in my career. With a heavy heart, it's the end of a road that I hoped would stretch out further and which would end with a better taste in my mouth. I honestly believe that this journey deserved to end at my own choosing or because my performances were not at a level worthy of our national team, not due to a question of age. Age in itself is not a virtue or defect. I admire and envy players like Modric, Messi and Pepe. Unfortunately, it won't be like that for me because football isn't always fair. Luis, he has done it all on the international level, it is fair to say. Where does he rank among defenders of all time in football history? He must be in one of the top places. We are talking about a, a player that has won everything uh, at the club competition or national team competition, back-to-back -back the European Championship, also a uh, captain of the national team, uh, World Cup. I mean, uh, he has to be one of them because definitely the talent, the quality, uh, good in the air, scoring goals. Uh, he was a leader, something that uh, on these days is not easy to find uh, everywhere. So I think that, uh, well, it's a, a, a good time to, to lead the national team, even though that the national the, the national coach have said that uh, he's not going to count with him. But I think it's a, it's a good moment to, to say goodbye because definitely is one of the best uh, centre-backs that the history has made uh, uh, on the sport. So it wasn't so much a retirement letter by Sergio Ramos as much as it was, I was told I'm not part of the plans, and so <laughs> I guess I'm done. So I, I've been told I'm retired. And, and this had been coming right, for Sergio Ramos, and it had been coming because of injuries, not because of lack of performance, but the injuries in itself have affected the level of play for Sergio Ramos. And so if you're a, a new manager that is coming in, that you, you're having new ideas, you want new players as well. Uh, remember that De La Fuente is a guy that has coached in the, in, in the lower divisions of the national team and the younger teams. And so he has a lot of understanding and knowledge of players that, that have been with him in those younger teams. And a presence like Sergio Ramos will always be a powerful one, always. So him walking through that door puts a, a different feeling to those younger players. And if he's not going to be the guy, if he's just going to be a cheerleader, I think it also changes the personality of the group. So it doesn't make any sense for De La Fuente to have a guy like Sergio Ramos with that presence, with that, even if it's leadership, but that presence that can be sometimes can hold back younger players because they're going to defer to him. That's why I think he's being told, thanks, but no thanks, it's just not going to happen. In terms of the career, one of a kind. I think one of the most impressive things that we just saw there in his resume, we think of Sergio Ramos and that maybe something is missing up here at times because of how, uh, how many red cards he would get in a classic. And we see the images of him kicking Messi or whatever, him and Pepe, and Pepe playing side by side. Zero red cards for Spain at the international level. Zero red cards for Spain. I don't think Steven Nichol would believe that if we told him. I think he, he was supposed to be in today, yes. but he's so devastated by this news, he took the day off. But you know the special relationship that Stevie has with Sergio Ramos. He wouldn't believe that. And, I, and it's hard to believe because Sergio Ramos, in, in big moments, has been a guy that is uh, volatile. And, and that's being kind. But in terms of the achievements, they, they speak for themselves. And the leadership, that speaks for itself as well. And, and being that guy, for as long as he was that guy at Real Madrid, you have to be special. And to be that guy for the national team in Spain, in what was the golden era of, of the national team for Spain, you have to be one of a kind. And Sergio Ramos is, certainly was that and had one of a kind career. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.